checking on Money Matters this morning. Google plans to stop targeting ads based on your browsing history. And another 750,000 Americans likely filed new unemployment claims. Jane King joins us live from New York with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Yes. Good morning. We get those weekly numbers in a little less than an hour. We think they probably ticked up compared to last week. Now, we saw a bigger drop than expected last week. The thinking is a lot of that due to the weather and just the logistics of, of collecting the jobless data uh, made it problematic that week. So we think we're going to see a higher number. But the trend, while jobless claims are still high, does show some underlying improvement improvement in the job market. Well, Walmart says it will support U.S. manufacturers with $350 billion in added business. The retailer is launching a program to bring together shareholders like suppliers and also government officials to discuss how to increase U.S. manufacturing. And it says any decision will benefit the environment as well as they look to source goods closer to consumers. And Google says it plans to stop selling ads that rely on your individual web browsing history. Now, this is a major change change in the company's business model. Looking forward, Google says it will use privacy preserving APIs to deliver relevant ads. So they're going to rely on groups of users with similar interests rather than drilling down to each individual person and target ads that way. And yet another streaming service launches in the U.S. today. It's Paramount Plus. It's $6 a month for limited commercials, $10 a month for no commercials. The available TV channels are MTV, BET, Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, and movies like Mission Impossible. Live from New York, I'm Jane King.